Welcome to my first YouTube video. So Smart Art reached out to me and asked me if I would like to review their art box. And of course, I said yes. This is the company that works with Jazza and Nerdy Crafter. How could I say no to an offer like that? And I thought this would be a great way to start off YouTube. So here I am. I'm going to open this box of unknown mystery art supplies for you all, and I'm gonna make something out of it. This is probably gonna be a lot like Drawing with Waffles videos because I'm assuming most of my TikTok audience is gonna be the people watching this and you guys say I'm a lot like Rin and I am a big fan of her, so we will see what happens. We have a blade, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Just this guy open. How much tape there is on this? How can I get the knife in? All right, let's see what's inside. Aww. Oh, this is so cute. Okay, I have never opened one of Smart Arts boxes before, but this is adorable. I love this. It's so pretty. I don't know anything about typography yet. I'm a graphic design student, but I don't know anything about this yet, so I admire anybody who can do stuff like this. Look at the oranges and the purples! This is one of my favorite color combos. I'm going to be stealing this paper for later, and it looks like it's packed. Dude, what is all of this? Do they have a zine? I thought only Scrawler Box had these. Look at this. Looks like this is gonna be, looks like it's a paint theme box. All right. I don't wanna see what's all in here yet, cause spoilers, so I'm gonna be moving that. Got some little canvases here along with the sticker. How many of these have we got? Not one, not two. Not three, but four mini canvases. All right, I see some paint brushes here and some gummy bears. I'm going to be eating these. Definitely a paint box. We've got several types of brushes here. I'm excited about the detail one because I'm always ruining mine. So I'm really excited to see that. Let's see. Oh shoot, this is gonna be messy. I don't know what this is. Palette knives, I know what these are. High viscosity acrylic. Got some plastic cups here. What? I don't know how I'm going to do this, guys. This is an acrylic porn kit. I'm in college, I'm recording this in my dorm. Where's the English? I have never tried this before. Okay, this is gonna be something completely new for me. So we're gonna be going on this journey together. So here is everything that came in the box. It looks like I will not be doing any sort of swatching for this video as I usually do. Doesn't seem like I'll be using much of my sketchbook either. This is going to literally just be hands-on and I'll try to do the very best that I can. I for one am going to be reading more about this and watching YouTube videos on how to do acrylic pouring because I've never done it before and I am not going to be responsible for causing a giant mess in my college's art building. Now, I will not be able to access the art building until Friday because of classes and scheduling and things like that, so I will see you all on Friday. It is Friday, I'm back, and I'm still in the dorm, and that's because I figured out I could make this whole setup, which is far more convenient than having to go all the way down to the art building and back. So, this is what we're going to be doing. I decided, once I unwrap all the canvases, I'm going to paint two with this black paint and try out some techniques with that. Then I'll leave these two just white and mess around with that, and then this will be my big final project of whatever it is I decide I'm going to do based off of how all these experiments with acrylic pouring go. Okay, I've just finished painting the base coat of black onto these two little canvases, and I'm going to let them dry and start working on the plain canvases and experimenting with the acrylic pouring. So I think I'm going to start out simple with just the theme of these two of the golden whites, because it is October, it is Halloween, and I want to go for a Halloween vibe here because it's my favorite holiday, and frankly, I'm way too obsessed with making Halloween-themed art, so why not make more? I'm probably going to go silent here as I'm going to be focusing, so I'll probably put a voiceover of my later thoughts about this entire process of getting the paint in here. Okay, it's editing Gail here. Definitely the hardest part of this entire process coming from having finished all of it a week later was figuring out the right amounts of paint to use because I tell you, I am completely out of all of the paint. There isn't a single bit of it left. So figuring out the right amounts of paint to use was really the biggest challenge of this entire thing. That's pretty. Okay, this may be a new favorite thing of mine. Look at how pretty that is. Look at the gold. This is my new favorite thing. It doesn't look like I've applied quite enough paint for this one though. So for the next one, I'll add more. Look at that. 
Oh, I'm excited. I am so excited. I am so excited to bring out the silicone and see how this reacts. And my hands are covered in paste, so I'm going to clean myself up real quick before I crack into that. Can you all see this? I haven't even put the silicone yet and it's already forming these little cells. Oh, that is so pretty. Okay, it is now time to use the silicone. I'm just gonna drop it on. Oh. That one moved. Did you see that? Oh, I, I love this so much. Here's a closer up view for you. Look at all the texture that's in that. That is amazing. Now the instruction manual also said you can try this with other materials such as alcohol inks. Now I have a lot of alcohol inks for my Copic marker ink refills. So I thought for the next one, I'm going to try the same technique, but also add in some alcohol ink dripping just like the silicone. For this one, I think I'm going to try the blues because I haven't tried those yet. So I have two shades of blue here a lighter and a darker, and then I'm going to go back in with the white again. I'm not a huge fan of the way that this gold is going to look with the blues, so I'm just going to stick to the blues and the whites for this one. A few moments later. Well, I for one think that this is absolutely gorgeous, and I don't even know if I want to use the silicone because it looks so pretty. I think I might add just a little bit up here on the edge, but other than that, I don't think I'm gonna add a ton. I'm going to try this just on the top because I love the pattern here. I like it a little bit too much. I wanted to try stuff, so that's what I'm going to do. This is simple, one right there on the very edge. Honestly, I'm wanting a little bit more purple in there, so I have this Copic ink in the color Blue Violet 08, which is just the color Blue Violet, but I'm going to see what happens here. Oh. It's reacting, look at that. I can see it spreading. I say more colors. This is a very light tone Copic ink. It's called Mauve Shadow. I'm going to see if it does anything. It's a very light purple, it's very pretty. Ooh, okay, it's a lot darker than this one. <gasps> look at it spreading. <gasps> Here's what it looks like and what it's doing close up. That is really cool. Nope, nope. Okay, I'm getting a little bit out of control here. <laughs> Now it's time to start experimenting with the black canvases. This one's not completely dry yet, but I'm considering it dry enough to start because frankly, I'm way too impatient to wait because I'm kind of enjoying this a little bit too much here. I think I'm gonna go with the gold theme again. I'm just going to include much more gold than before and less white and then play around with this to see if I can get more of the textures of the blacks to come through. Guys, I'm being abusive. I ended up using almost all of the gold paint. So I'm hoping that there's gonna be extra here that I can keep and scoop back into the cup because uh, I really want to use the gold and I'm almost out already. <laughs> it's uneven. No. Oh, it's dripping, it's going. Okay, you know what? Actually, I like this. I like that it shows the black, which is what I wanted. So I'm gonna keep working with this clean off my hands again and I'll just keep working on it. Little update, I went in and I added a little drizzle of more of the mixture of the gold and white paint and it came up with this and honestly I think that's really cool. I really like the way that looks but now I'm going to drip more of this in there, more of the silicone, just I want to try to play with like lines and stuff. I think that'd be really cool so I'm using the dropper and like a straight line sort of motion. Oh no, I just spilled a whole bunch of the silicone. Oh geez, oh geez, oh geez, oh geez. I just spilled like a third of it. Ain't that just the way? Now, I just gotta be careful to not waste the silicone. Did I not bring orange ink? I'm gonna try to use some of my skin tone then. These are the ones that I've pulled out that I'm gonna be trying. Ooh, orange. That is just so cool to me. Ooh, I like that. Ooh, look at the way it's, look at, just look at that. That is so cool. Okay, that's very dark, very pigmented. This is the epitome of my existence when it comes to art. This is chaos, it's uncontrollable, and I love it. This is what it looks like after a few minutes of waiting. I've been sitting here watching it for about five minutes and it slowly developed into this. And honestly, it has way more color in real life than it does on the camera, but it looks so, so pretty. Look at all these beautiful textures that the alcohol ink and the silicone was able to make, mixing all of these together. It is honestly such a pretty color and I can't wait to do more with this. I'm just gonna wait for it to dry at the moment because I am running out of space and the other black canvas still is not dry yet. So I'm gonna come 
come back once this is ready. I have one more little guy here who's still wet on the bottom, but other than that, he is perfectly dry. And for this one, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to go for a theme with the blues, but I think I'm just gonna use what's left of the blue in this jar, and then add in much more of the dark blue, a little bit of the white, and I'm gonna try to go for a more purpley blue theme, because I got a lot of the blues that are more on the blue green side, and just ultramarine blues in general in the last blue one, so I wanna go for more of a purpley, periwinkle blue for this one. And then there was silence. Eee! Not as much white as I was hoping for, but I can work with that. Wait, what would happen if I, wait, I haven't tried this yet. <gasps> ooh, 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 ooh. I'm gonna see what this does. There we go. Again, not as white as I wanted it to be. So I'm gonna do a little bit of tweaking around, figuring out how I can make it more purple. As long as I make it more purple, that's all that matters to me. I just want it to be purple. <laughs> also, I have another idea. I'm going to try a splatter technique with the white paint. I'm going to try making this brush nice and wet, and I'm going to try splattering paint all over it. Okay, let's see if this works. It's working. I'm gonna drip it specifically around the white areas. It looks like sea foam. You know sea foam, how it looks like all bubbly and stuff? It looks like sea foam. I love it, it's so pretty. Honestly, I might not even add much purple in this at all because it's already looking so pretty. Yeah, so this looks so pretty. This is adding so many fun, tiny details that I just love. Okay, I'm gonna let it sit. And I'm gonna let it move around, change form however it wants to, and I'll get back to you in about five, ten-ish minutes. I just looked up online and it's going to take 24 to 72 hours for each of these paintings to dry, so I'm gonna have to find a safe place to keep them until they're dry. Okay, now that the others are all on my desk drying, I am going to announce my plans that I came up with for the big guy. I'm going to be trying to get a yin-yang effect, okay? I'm gonna be doing both blue and gold, and it's gonna be taking up portions, something like this on the canvas, and I'm gonna use both of them. I'm gonna do two pours at once. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try two pours at once, and I'm gonna try combining all of these little techniques and tricks that I've figured out for doing the pass for on the small ones. Ooh, I dropped it. This is not going on. This is not a good start. Look at this. This is chaos already. I'm here for it. I'm here for the challenge. I'm, I don't care if it turns out wacky or bad. I'm just willing to try it. This is what this is all about. Just trying new things and I'm going to see how it goes. Uh, news, um, I'm out of gold and I'm out of the blue now. So I'm gonna have to take drastic measures, hope I have enough white, and I'm gonna have to work with a much lighter color palette here, because frankly, I'm gonna need a lot of paint to cover this entire canvas, which is another reason why I wanted to go with both in the first place. Because I knew one color wasn't going to be enough to cover the entire thing, so we're gonna try the half and half look. I don't have very high hopes on it spreading that well. right now i can't even click the stop button to pause the recording at this point i had an idea of like washing my hands what if i dragged the palette knife through it or just tap the palette knife will that okay that that does do something okay okay that's cool that's cool can you guys hear the sirens oregon gotta love it right sweet sound of portlandia If only I had white, but I'm out of white. I think I'm going to let it sit for a little bit, let the silicone do its work, and I'll be back with you in just a minute. Hello everyone, it's Thursday, nearly a week later, and these have finally dried. 
It took a very long time and there were still piles of silicone on here even after I waited for such a long time that I eventually just ended up using a paper towel and just quickly dabbing away all the little extra bits of silicone that I knew weren't gonna dry, let them sit for another day, and then here they are. They're done, they're all fine now. They all look amazing. I think the one that went through the most drastic change was this one over time. It was very, very dark here originally. And over time it's just dried and now it looks really cool like this. And I think what I'm going to do is the one supply that I still haven't used is the black paint marker. So what I'm going to do is I like all of these. So I'm gonna leave these ones as is. And I'm going to take this one and I'm gonna do just a little bit of art on it with the black paint marker. And then it'll be done and I'll have used all the supplies from the box and yeah. There we go, that activated real quickly. I'm impressed, geez. Posca pens take way longer than this. Bruh. Bruh, this went so quickly. This activated even quicker than a Posca pen, dude. I might be switching to these now. Sayonara, Posca pen. Okay, so what I think I'm gonna do is I'm going to draw my wandering trader in the same design that I did for the sticker of her, because, you know, I've got to take every single chance I can to draw mushrooms with absolutely no explanation because mushrooms are my thing, so I gotta tie mushrooms into this some way or another. Just realized I don't have any of the white paint left though, so I'm probably gonna have to use my Winnie Ball Signo or something because I'm completely out of the white paint, which I could have used for little white dots on this, but at this point I'm willing to use whatever because the white paint is just gone. There is none left of that stuff. Should I be scared to be completely freehanding this? I've drawn her plenty of times, I shouldn't be scared of it. I'm left-handed, why did I do the left side first? That was idiotic. I'm so used to going in with a pencil and having outlines make the ears align. Look at that, isn't he cute? I think that's really adorable. Oh, where is that bad boy? I think it should be somewhere in this little pouch here of my supplies that I carry around everywhere. Here it is, bada bing, bada boom. Oh, this is perfect. See, this is already looking so good. See, this, this is what I'm going for. Oh geez, the white does not want to go into this. You will serve as the cute eye sparkle and you're going to like it. Maybe just use a lighter. I could do some very, very subtle line shading right here just to indicate a shadow. This shows that this works with other materials as well. I'm glad that it works with my fine liners and that it doesn't destroy them as so many other paints tend to do. There we go, some very subtle line work right there. Just very subtle, just to indicate a slight bit of shadow. Well, I think today has been extremely productive. This entire week, this entire project has been very, very much productive. I've never done acrylic pouring before, obviously. I thought it was something I'd never be able to do. I've watched other artists on YouTube do it. I've seen some of my favorite artists try it, post videos of it. And I thought that would be cool to try, but it's not for me, too abstract, too messy. Yet here I am with five of my own acrylic porn paintings just sitting right here that I did, my own original work. We've got tons of different techniques, tons of different styles. We even got one that's got my little illustration of my wandering trader on it. And this has been really, really fun. I'm really happy I got to try this. And it's all thanks to Smart Art for sending me this box to review and try out. And it is a two thumbs up from me. This has been so much fun. And it's been so relaxing for me to work on these in between all of my papers, my essays, and all my other college schoolwork, homework, all of that. So I can't thank Smart Art enough for sending me this box to try out. It's just a little relaxing project in between schoolwork, Inktober, all my other projects. And hey, if I ever get my own art studio sometime in the future, I would love to do this sort of thing again. But for now, this is going to be the end of it. Again, thank you Smart Art for sending me this box to review and try out. And I hope you all enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. I wanna be